What did you see from the tape from last week? Um, let's see. I'm trying to. I've been watching a ton of Washington State here. I'm trying to re remember uh, remember back here. Uh, there there were. Uh, there were there were a lot of good there were a lot of good things. I was I was not pleased with the way that we started. You know I think we gave up three sacks or hurries um, on the quarterback. You know in the first like ten plays of the game. So I wasn't really pleased with the way that we started. We've been that's been a point of emphasis this week is, is starting fast. Um, but I was pl pleased with the way that we battled back. The second quarter I thought there were some good things and, and we were able to run the ball. Um, you know and get Jamar going. I thought our offensive line played a lot more physical last week, which was really which was really good to see. And that that just when we're able to run the ball, it just takes a lot of pressure off the queue, and, and uh, Connor was able to hit some throws and, and some play action things and, and get going and, and move the ball. And um, at the end of the game, I think or towards the end, we had a chance to make it a single score game and, and the, uh, got down to the one yard line and was pretty disappointed with our effort. We had a chance to punch it in, um, you know, kind of a missed assignment on a play, and then we jumped off sides. And so you just got to clean up our execution down there and we make it a single score game, and, and you never know from there. How do, you, oh, go ahead. how do you emphasize starting fast in practice? Uh, I think it's just, you know, when we have those drills that are that are early and we're, we're going to compete against the defense, I think it's, um, you know, you're just emphasizing, emphasizing, hey, we gotta, we got to get going. We walk on the practice field. we got to execute right from the first snap. And, and, uh, and then I think just getting those guys comfortable with the opening plays and, and uh, in the end, they just got to go out and, and execute earlier. With what? the pass protection, how did you turn around Saturday? I know so one one time you rolled out Connor one, at one point early in the second. Yeah, quarter. we tried to move we tried to move it a little bit early, and and then I, I really think it was the run game. You know, it wasn't like we made any adjustments schematically. We had a we had one was a mental error. You know, one we got beat in a one on one situation, um, and I think when we just we were able to start running the ball, those guys weren't able to just rear back and, and come get us in the pass rush. Uh, so I, I think running the ball really. Help protection out. Speaking of that, uh, Jamar, you watch, you know, watching his performance, um, it's toughness, but it's it's athleticism and it's it's the uh, ability not to hesitate. Yeah, he, he uh, I think he's seeing things well, and I think it's the vision that you're talking about, and, and uh, yeah, I think he just has a really good good feel um, for some of the run schemes that we're doing, and, and uh, the ability to kind of see the see the cut, make it, and get vertical. And, and uh, yeah, I was really pleased with the way that, uh, you know, he was able to handle the workload. Could you, could you see him becoming more of a receiver as he, you know, continues his evolution as a player? Yeah, I'd like to. And Arizona State was a pretty unique defensive scheme, and, and we were keeping the back end a lot and we'd help out with protection. Uh, but, yeah, moving forward, I think he's got good ball skills, and there's some things that we can do with him, uh, either flexing him out and an empty set or, or getting him out of the backfield. Looking at Washington State, you spent a couple years definitely in this conference. What have they been able to build defensively under Alex Grinch and then now continue under Tracy Clays? Uh, defensively? Just the, the movement up front. I think it's. Uh, I think that they they move a lot up front. They stem before the snap and change the look for you. You know, for your for your for your front, and that makes it that makes things tricky um, on you. And then I think that those guys are they're really aggressive and they play really hard. That's that's something that really uh, stands out on on film. Uh, and, and uh, I know that just from talking to you know different coordinators in the Pac-12 that it's uh, it's always uh, a challenging week when you when you play the Cougs for sure and uh, uh, they just they just present so many different looks for you up front.